Hi and welcome to another video where I will show how to export EndNote references to Excel. In my previous video I showed you how to do it uh, by using some pseudo XML method or tricks. So if you go to support.alphasoft.com click the EndNote category and then the EndNote how to category you will find this article how to export an EndNote library to Excel using pseudo XML method. So here I explain how to do it uh, this way uh, and this is probably the most robust method of uh, doing this so probably I will recommend this method if you are exporting the whole EndNote library on a regular basis. So and also if you want you see here's the link to the video if you go to YouTube and search for EndNote and XML you will pro probably find my video yeah so here it is how to export EndNote library to Excel but in this video I'm gonna show you probably an easier way to um, to copy paste uh, references from EndNote to, to Excel so to start off I open my EndNote and my library and the first thing we need to do is uh, create an open style uh, where I decide which fields which data you see here's lots of fields in in EndNote so basically I can pick whichever fields I need uh, for for pasting into to Excel uh, and for this I and first need to create uh, an and not open style. So open style is the same that EndNote uses for generating the bibliography at the end of your document. But we can use it for other means also, as you can see. So to create a new open style, I choose uh, tools and then open styles and new style. This will bring up uh, the open style manager. So as you can see, it's empty. Uh, I just write a name here, so I can call it Alphasoft, copy, uh, paste to Excel. And then I click underneath the bibliography section here, I click the template. So here is where I will decide which fields I want to uh, paste or export to my Excel sheet. And just to show, as you can see, I'm using EndNote 20, the newest version of EndNote. I can take up EndNote X9. So for older versions, X9, X8 and older, the open styles. So to do the same as I did now to open the open style manager, it's not underneath the tools menu in older versions. You will find the same underneath edit and then open styles and new style. So here is where you find it in older versions. But otherwise it should be the same. So here for me now is just to uh, choose which fields I want to uh, paste or export to Excel uh, and to do this I click the insert field button here on the top right and I can start with the record number and this is important between each field I need to insert a tab as a separator so Excel know when to jump to the next column with the data so record number and then I press insert field and we can have reference type and then tab as a separator, author, tab, year, tab, and I can have the title like this. And please note, if you should do not some mistakes, it's allowed to just delete uh, inside this uh, editor whatever you like uh, and you can do it in middle also as long as you remember to have a tab between the fields so uh, no problem uh, uh, editing your style afterwards if you're not pleased with the first version so I will just insert again here when you're pleased uh, when you inserted the fields you want just click the file menu and then save as and enter the name for your new style so alphasoft copy 
paste to Excel, like this. And I click the save and I'm good to go. Then I can close this Opus Style Manager and I'm back to my uh, library in EndNote. So next thing is to change. So if I click summary here, in EndNote 20, you will see here down at the bottom right, we have the style selector here. So I need to change to my new style. And so I click this uh, drop down menu. And if you haven't used it before, it uh, will not show here. Uh, after I use it first time, I can just select it here. So first time you need to select the select another style option. And then I can just search for my style, alpha soft copy. And there it is. So I select it and click the choose button. And now it's selected. So now I can either choose a group, click one reference, control or command on the Mac, control A to select the references I want. Um, you can also just hold the control or command button and click select uh, different. And please also note if there's references in a sequence just click the first one hold the shift key on your keyboard and click click the last reference in a second to select everything between so just select uh, the reference you want i can take this group click one and then Control a to select everything every reference and then i click the copy citation button here on the bottom right to copy them uh, and to show this, oh, I close my EndNote. Let me open my old EndNote again to show this. It's a little bit different here. So in older version of EndNote, you don't have the style selector down here on the bottom right. You have it here on the top left. So from there, it's basically the same. Just choose select another style, uh, find your style can also scroll uh, down to it and select it and choose click the choose button so then it's so it's a selector here but here in older versions of EndNote uh, you don't have also the copies um, what was it called copy citation uh, button so here you basically do the same to select your references then right click one of the, your selected references and choose copy formatted so that's the same as the copy citation in the newer versions. You want to copy it in the format of the style you just created. So that's why I choose copy formatted. So I have copied this. So for me now, it's just to open Excel, choose a blank worksheet. And for the top row, I probably would want to name uh, the fields. So I select the second row, the first cell in the second row, before I hit Control V or Command V on the Mac to paste uh, the reference data inside here. And then I can write here in the top row, record number, reference type, authors, author, year, and title. And I can also click this bottom cell here, top left, to select everything, and then double click between this divider to make it look a little bit better in my sheet, like this. So that's the quick and easy way to copy paste from EndNote library and paste into uh, to Excel. But there's a but here. Um, this worked perfectly because I selected fields that uh, had no special characters or more importantly, they didn't have any uh, paragraph breaks or marks. Um, so this method will work just fine if you don't select fields like keywords or 
especially the uh, abstract feel in EndNote. Uh, oftentimes there's paragraph breaks or line breaks inside there. And if you paste them, they will break the row in the middle of uh, the data stream here for a row. Uh, and the data will get messy. I can show this by going back, tools, open styles and open, I edit my newly created Office of Copy Paste to Excel style. Go down here to templates again. <clears throat> and I can insert a tab as a separator and then I can insert keywords. And I can also insert abstract. So those will be included. And then file, save to cha save my changes and close this. And now if I copy these same citations, open my Excel, I can go down here and paste. You will see that the first reference that is so nicely here on one row, when it comes to the keyword field, the first field here, everything goes astray because of probably line breaks uh, inside this field. So you see each keyword takes one row. And depending on what the reference, um, the, the content of the reference, you get these jumps in, uh, in uh, the data. So it, it doesn't look uh, good. Uh, and that's why I probably would recommend the pseudo XML method. Uh, if you want to uh, export many fields and keywords field and abstract fields that could be causing problems. But I will show also how you can use the same method uh, to solve this. So uh, I will just close my Excel and go back here. Uh, one way of solving this is to remove the paragraph uh, marks or breaks uh, before you uh, paste them into uh, to your Excel sheet. Uh, and one way to do this is for use Word. So first I will paste into Word and there in words there are features or functions to remove this. So to try to solve this pro uh, problem with the paragraph uh, breaks or marks uh, in my data, I once more go to tools output styles and edit my newly created style. Then I go to templates and this time I'm going to add a special word, a word that I know are not in my reference data. So for this one I choose square bracket alpha soft and square bracket end. Please note that you need to have this um, space between um, the field and your special word. If there were no space, if this field should be empty, no data in your reference, then you make this these characters dependent on that, so they will not either uh, appear. Um, but by inserting a space between your last field and your special word, it will not be dependent. It will always show up at the end of each reference, no matter if there's no data or data in this last field. You could uh, probably a better way is actually to go to layout and then insert your special word here. So end each reference with a special word. So that's probably a way to do it also. But I will use it here for now. Then I save my changes and yeah, I'm probably going to show this afterwards and so maybe you understand why I have this special word. Um, so close this. Uh, I select all my references, copy citations. And uh, this time, instead of pasting directly into Excel, we're going to do it via Word. So I open my Word and then control V or command V on uh, the mic to paste in all the data, the same reference data. Uh, please note that uh, if I click the home tab or menu in Word, I have chosen to show 
um, the paragraph marks in my text and seconds. So you can see between each keyword here there is a paragraph marks. And this is the big problem that messes up our data in Excel. So please click this button, show paragraph marks. Then we're going to replace all these paragraph marks with a delimiter and I'm going to use semicolon. So I click the replace function here. And then I click the more button and special and here you find the paragraph mark. You can also type it in if you know uh, how it looks. And as I said, I'm going to replace the paragraph mark with a semicolon. Here also, if you want to use comma, you are welcome to, to do that. Click replace all. And as you can see, all the paragraph mar marks in my document disappeared. But I need a paragraph mark to mark uh, each reference so Excel know when to jump to a new row. So that's why I chose this special word because now I'm going to replace my special word. And please note, since that was the last one, it also had a paragraph mark after it, which is now replaced by a semicolon. So I add a semicolon also. And we're going to replace that with a paragraph mark. So replace all and OK. And that's it. As you can see, it's inserted the paragraph mark after each reference. So now we are ready to control A, control C to copy everything from my modified Word document. And then I can open my Excel and a blank workbook. Click the second row, the first cell, cell in the second row, and control V to paste everything into it. And there you go. Here's my data. Um, I can click here and double click between the delimiters. Here's. So as you can see, we have the record number, the reference types, the authors, the year, the title, and we have our keywords inside one column and at the end we have the uh, uh, abstract so every reference neatly uh, in row by row in in excel so that's that's a way to to solve that problem hopefully this was uh, helpful please contact us if you have any questions and I will also put a link down below to the article uh, documenting this process. Have a nice day.